So I'm literally sitting here editing this vlog and smoking, where I finished the edit and I'm smoking this joint. Well, this light's not working. Uh, let me move this real quick. <laughs> so I don't really know what to do. This is fucking, I gotta fix this light because you guys are not gonna believe this. This is, oh, yo, chill, 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 chill. Uh, so I, um, I gotta move this again. I have the seven 500s laying here. I don't really know what to do. I was editing the vlog, I finished the vlog. I had these in my hand, I laid them down. I accidentally laid it on top of this marker that did not have a top on it. And now this is what the shoe looks like. Um, I don't know if I should try to clean it now. I should try to clean it now, right? I'm gonna go try to clean it out. I tried to clean them. I tried to use a little acetone to get that to lift up and it started tearing up the leather right there. So, and that's not the best either. I don't know, man. I might just have to do the first ever fucking 500 custom. I don't know what I would do, but <laughs> God damn it. No more. We fucked up, man. I think it's a shoe we don't really want. I guess. Super Bowl. What's up? Picking up Teddy in a few minutes. Just picked up the camera first though. What? Go to dog stuff. Hmm. Because if it's close, maybe I'll just walk to pick him up. He'll love that. Oh no, it's 1.6 miles. I'm not walking. Vloggers normally vlog and drive. We're gonna see. My one leg, because I don't use this leg to drive really, as long as I'm hands free, right? Driving with Aaron. Driving with shadows. Fuck. Holy fuck. Oh no. Hey. Hey, how goes it? Hold on. Okay. It's dark again. Alright. Off to get Teddy. Probably won't use any of this, I'm thinking, but who knows? We might as well record it. We're here to vlog. You're like Teddy, you're the camera, but you're in this seat right now. Teddy's getting a massage right now, I think. It must be nice. You know, a lot of people in this city, they don't wear motorcycle helmets. Clarkson you don't have Street. to. So that's great. It's great that that's a freedom they're allowed, but the amount of people that choose to ride without one, it's a lot. I snowboard with a helmet. I think we're here, but... Oh, it's Teddy said. No, you ain't. Want to reply? Well, my GPS is I am. Uh, I'm at the corner of Emerson, and you're nowhere to be seen. I guess I'm closer to Clarkson. I don't really see that. Wait, if you're closer to Clarkson, I can go back. To, I'm at Why the... don't you just stay still since you parked? Okay, I'm in the lot of this place. It's a brick building? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm parked it's in that. the other side of that. I'll be right there. All right, peace. Nice. I'm not lost. I thought I was lost. Now I'm found. Thank you, Boost God. He is. I'm backwards in the lot. He's probably gonna roast me on this. I'm facing all sorts of wrong ways, but as you can see by the car in front of me. So Nothing, what up? Got the camera. I've been broadcasting live the whole drive. Went hiking fucking 11 I miles saw. yesterday Where'd you go? by mistake. Where'd you go? Bergen Peak. It's up mm -hmm. in uh, Evergreen. Elk Meadows is the name of the area. Well, we look up 10 best dog friendly off leash. There's some it's, off leash humans. Go. Uh, All right, just, well, just let him go. I, I mean, I, no, I can't tell anymore. <laughs> He looked off leash then. Yeah. So it says this place is off leash. We get there, it's not. So we start hiking up and we ask the first guy, we're like, about how long till the top here? This Bergen Peak. He's like, ah, hey, you got like a mile, mile and a half. We're like, all right, no problem. A mile and a half later, we see like another group. We're like, guys, are we close to the top? They're like, yeah, probably about two and a half miles out. Oh. Right, so at this so point. So it ended up being five and a half up, five and a half down. Basically. Yeah. And at this point, Brandy's like downloading an app and finds the trail. And the irony is though, with the sunset and the time of everything, we'd even make it to the peak we made it we were short like three quarters of a mile but that extra 20 minutes yeah. each way would have we would have been in the dark if you ever want to hike 
I love it out there. And the thing hiking is cool as long as the as long as it's not too hot. Well, that's when it, it gets too I, hot. It's yeah. just not fun for me. That's what I said. What I said. I said we got to get this in now. I said because I am not walking like this. I don't in know how people do it. People like, do like fourteeners and shit. And I'm like y'all are crazy. Dude, sure. fighting with me over water. the last water. Well, we're pouring the dog thing, and then the dog didn't drink all his. So she's like, well, pour it back in the other jug, and he can use it later. Oh, survival mode out there. Like it's not that big a deal. So I'm like not really thinking it. I'm just like, yeah, okay, I will, and then like. I don't. I just like automatically dump it because that's where my mind goes. Why would you dump it? I'm like, all right, I'll like drink less water. She's like, you drank. Like, <laughs> like you like kick the map into the river on Blair Witch Project. I kicked that fucking map right into the river. <laughs> Dude, it's amazing. That's so funny. She's, so, and she and she's like, water? why would? Well, no, that's the irony. Yeah. We didn't run out of water, but she, <laughs> she's just in survival mode. <laughs> <laughs> but she couldn't. She had to pee, so she couldn't drink any more water anyway. Didn't uh, want to pee in the woods. That's fun. What time does it drop tomorrow? Uh, not 8 p.m. Time so your flight. 7 p.m. for me. Yeah, you'll be landed, right? I figured you'd leave yeah. in the morning. These are triple. Where were these? They were on the floor. Those right? are the ones that you were saying. Yeah. This is going out. This company, Blackstone Labs, since we're in, since to keep up with my Rocky Four training. Yeah. And you're Rocky. Well, I'm the Russian. Yeah. You're the Rocky. Blackstone yeah, Labs sent me. Well, now, now I'm sorry. I'm doing steroids. <laughs> well, I did just leave a massage. That's because uh, when I googled where to go to get you, it came up as yeah. massage. And I was like, you'll you, see. I talked to. Uh, you ain't gonna. How are you gonna? How, these muscles ain't gonna recover just laying around, dog. Yeah. We're out here training. It's true. But Blackstone Labs hit me up. They sent me all these. Uh, these are all like fat burners and stuff, which I don't use yeah. usually. I guess maybe if we start getting down with these branch chain amino acids. Some whey protein, some more fat burning and craziness. I don't know, this shit's called Trojan Horse. This shit just sounds lit. We should just do it for fun. No shakes or increased heart rate. Well, that's nice. I don't know, I don't know. I'm going Rocky. Yeah, you're Rocky for sure. They just sent this stuff out. Oh, no, that's it's awesome. That's my first bodybuilding sponsor, first of many. Nice. I was over here yesterday just curling this whey protein. Nice, dude. So they should do. Some companies should just sell it in like 50, 60 pound tubs with handles. You just curl your whey protein. And when you're done, you just eat some more. Dude, you should do that. I should start my own brand. Yeah. All right, do you want to go get some weed? Yeah. Going to the weed shop. Yep. Gotta get some shit for her. Earn to smuggle on an airplane tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, take sand to the beach, darling. Yeah, I'm going to Cali. Talking about. What's your flight number? What time's it leaving? Troll Wars is, all, is still going no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're in an airplane or not. I got connections. Which uh, which airline you flying? United. Yes, some platinum, think, bitch. It's on. I think. Wait, either United or Delta. I gotta check. But whatever it is, I'm I'm basic economy. I don't even get to bring a full size bag. Uh, yeah, so you're basic, you basically are a bag. Uh, you yeah. don't get nothing. You can't even. They don't even give you an air conditioning vent. No. Yeah, there's no air vent for basic economy. It's definitely United. You can't change anything. If your flight gets canceled, you have to eat it too. You know that, right? No. Yeah. Nothing. You get nothing. Four hundred feet. You have no rights. No. Yeah. It's basically like an airline ticket that existed in the 1800s. You have no rights, sir. Dog, if you don't make me a fucking hair appointment, I have to. Your boy's you leave, not back. Text until him Wednesday. and tell him I want the first appointment available. I will. I'll tell him right. You fucked your shit up. You fucked my shit up. You oh, like my, my you the layers, dude. Look, like this skin fade. I don't. It looks like this shit is fucked up. And then you fucking tried to get mad. You're like, it's all right, guys. It's not that bad on live stream. You're like, it's it's not that Turn bad. Left I'm left like, your shit is grainy right left now. Left You're on 360p, and I can still see the fade in your fucking side of your head. It's all fucked up. Your excuse was, I'm going to LA, I gotta look fresh. <laughs> oh, you see that gold car? Yeah, I like changing the subject too when I'm fucked up in the no. game. <laughs> this shit's so funny. I said, you went to Supercut. She's like, ah, Floyd's. It's like, dude, they fucked your shit up. They're just the fancier Supercuts. No, they're not. They just have a different sign. Yeah, so I'll be doing some poolside live streams. Nice. You gonna hang out with Blanco? I don't know, because it really depends on the time. Yeah. Like, Can you just say the word no for me real quick? No. <laughs> Doing some computer work by the pool like a young yeah. Zuckerberg. Fits with that fucking haircut. Let's see it. Bam! 
Boom! Oh, they fucked the lighting. Oh, dog, they hit your shit. Oh, I need better lighting. I need. Oh, that shit is gummo as fuck. Did Sans hit you up? No, yeah. Oh. He's, I think he's in another country. I'm out here looking crazy because the barber's gone. Even yesterday, I was like, man, she's gonna get my haircut somewhere else. Like, he ain't gonna be mad. I'll just find like a good barber. Dude, the in poor town. girl that cut mine too. She's never like. There was not. I felt like I. I had nothing to talk about. She gave you something to talk about. Yeah, and then I gave her a twenty dollar tip. Well, yeah, then you hooked her up even more. So you you rewarded her for doing a bad job. She's like, damn, that dude really liked his haircut. So I'm gonna do that shit on the next couple of people. Yeah. I think I finally got the hang of it. Yeah, yeah. Really she went in the nice back. One. She's like, guys. I got this shit, y'all. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know. It feels good. I'm a hair size. Probably went and got a fucking comb and scissors tattooed on her later that day with your twenty dollars. My friend does tats. <laughs> From the dude down the street, in his basement. I don't want to model these shirts. I'm like, go down to the shop and get somebody. She's like, you're fine. I don't want to go do the extra work because you don't want to model it. I'm like, I'm not good looking right now. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not just a your fucking, face. I'm like, I'm not just a model that can fucking do anything. <laughs> your modeling career is starting to pressure you. You're yeah. This is where all this came from. You started modeling, a couple yeah. of comments got to you, you went on a fucking crazy crash diet. Yeah. Now we're fucking here. <laughs> now you're going to LA for a couple of days. <laughs> going to LA to hang out for a couple of days. It's that model life. Yeah. Yeah. That, doesn't, that doesn't change your life again. I gotta just start hashtag model yeah. life on everything. The right lane this face. I still had to go do it. You're the one that shaved your fucking face. Yeah, I don't know. No one told you to do any of these things. But I like how when you modeled them, you still wore those fucking gray sweatpants. That's my favorite part. And you did that shit on purpose, too. Wait a minute. It's all right. My signature. Kids are shooting me pictures of their gray sweatpants. Yeah. Look, I got a pair, too. And I'm like, this is the right lane to take this is what I wanted. <laughs> What's the wrong way? On? No, we're going north. What the fuck is wrong with this? Sorry, it's, it's okay, you. man. Wait, Sorry. no. Oh, no. Look at this traffic. Where is this fucking thing taking us? It's going north of the city, which is where higher grade is. Stop saying West the name of establishments. You sound like a fucking ad. You always say that I sound like an ad. I don't do any of this. So Hi, I just purchased a little life water. Nothing gets me going like a little life water. I'm not this morning, I was Googling the new Kodak Black News on my Xfinity Wi-Fi. Ah, what computer was I using, you ask? I was using the 2017 MacBook Pro <laughs> to use NK sleeves when I'm on the go. Like I'm going to LA right now with my United ticket. <laughs> oh, sweatshirts, you ask? That's Koala. Shoes, Adidas. <laughs> Cuts by Helen. Helen Keller cuts. <laughs> this shit is fucked. What did Brandy say? Look at that. You can't, you're so lucky that the light, you can't really see it. I gotta get you in some good light. See them. I fucking hate this turn. I hate this. Why did we go the wrong way? Dude, there's a lot of people who are out of their fucking minds. I'm just gonna go ahead and say. There are people who have been messaging me just because I put a shoe on my feet. Who are like, you're a sellout. I've lost respect for you, I hate you, like, like all kinds of, I'm like, dog, I just put them on and took a picture, I didn't say that these were, I haven't hyped them up, I haven't said a word about it, other than fucking, like, I got them. Yeah. Which I said in the vlog, I got them. I think the people who annoy me the most are the people that see blurbs. When you know you kind of make it to, like, a point where you don't even have to, yeah. like, they don't have to watch your vlogs for you to stay relevant. They yeah. get blurbs and they attach to that because of whatever reason, whatever yeah. perspective they have on me, yeah. and then they continue it. Like, I still, people, the to this day, still think that I caught Wetherspoons for myself. First those, then these. Yeah, like this fucking guy. Uh, I want to catch him in a lie. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I want to be the one that exposes him. Slight Please right don't then like him. Left. Like me more. Keep That's left. what it is. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Thursday ish. Yeah, I guess so. Miles. Take exit 207 down to US 85 South towards Santa Fe Drive. Starting route to higher grade. Oh, this is real funny, dude. This is real funny now. Right. You want to know what happened? We were going the right way on 25 North. This was set for higher grade. In my phone, it reverted to go back towards my home. I'm like, this makes it overrode the other GPS. Now we're going back north. <laughs> so we just went in traffic circle for no reason. Twice, yes. How does this happen? 
I don't know, Ern, but it's okay, man. You just be you, bro. You just be you. Don't let these people or me or anyone else tell you how to be, man. You know what I'm saying? Who cares if we waste the whole day and the vlog goes up at 4 a.m.? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Who cares if fucking Omar pees all over the house? Who cares? Who cares if pick Brandy up on time? You know what I'm saying? Who cares if the shit gets mailed out on time? You know what I'm saying? Who cares? Why should we care? Don't get upset, Teddy. Be positive. I mean, Ernie. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to me. These two. No, I'm out here. <laughs> Yeah, you need them shits for how long your weed sits in the jars. Off to LA. Yeah. Little baby mom going to LA. Yep. You're gonna see you in a porno. Yeah. That's what happens when people go to LA. No. LA and Miami. Porno time. I'm gonna go back to the hit, man. They're not gonna let you in. No. I'm making the calls, man. You know, your experience is gonna be completely different this time. On purpose. There you know, walk into a fucking high seas, Sean's like, who are you? Like, it's me, man. It's me, Earn. We smoked the blood. I don't know. He's like, you roll the best. Nah. <laughs> nah, dog. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to be a bother. Just yeah. showing up at the shop. Just be, you're gonna be a bother when you walk by the fucking hair place next door and they see that fucking cut. Fun. Oh, I could go there. You could have gone there when you fucking. They could probably fix. It. No, they're gonna shave your head. They're like, boy, I fucked your shit up. It's time to start fresh, burn it down, and build it again. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta break shit down and build it back up. You know what I'm saying? You ever put a dresser together and it's just lopsided? Yeah. You gotta take the whole thing apart and start over. That's your fucking head right now. I built the desk at shit home. Shit is Project Runaway. Runaway. Whoa! This is like. Look, geez, that's it. This, dude, is, like, this is it. <laughs> it's so good. That, dude, the minute she started it and she did the first part and then did the next and I saw it. Like, I know it's always layered before they fade it, but I was like, this isn't. <laughs> All right. Have you fun think? in LA. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, you're singing them over. Alright, babe. You got a blunt? You ain't here smoking while I'm gone? You ain't here smoking while I'm. Ow. You ain't here smoking while I'm gone? Look at stuff. Hey, where'd you learn this? Where'd you learn this? From you, Dad. <laughs> Salad! Strawberry. Banana. Mmm. Bubba Ken. What's your name, motherfucker? Cherry Dream Sugar. Oh, these are both Cherry Dream. Castaway number six. That sounds like it's sleepy as fuck. Golden head stash is the other one. So we got a few. It's not even fun to chew up. Oh, give it to me. Oh. You know, you get that. It's plastic. That cherry. Whoa. Oh, shit. Drop my dad. Back on there, motherfucker. Thank you. I guess, stop, there's a lot of, so the internet's a funny place these days, and now I guess it's just to the point when I post something. Some people don't understand like the humor, my humor in general, and they don't watch the channel, so when they see just like a blurb, they really don't get it. Make all these crazy accusations, and I don't know, people just say crazy shit to me sometimes, but it's all good, I'm uh, pretty resilient. But, if you just pay attention to the channel, and the things that I say, I generally address what's going on. So, I said that I was gonna check out this shoe just to check out the shoe. That's what I said, that's what I did. When I initially saw the shoe, I was asked if I'm gonna get it like on Twitter or anywhere else. Hey, you can get that shoe? No, it doesn't have any boost. That would be the answer. That's generally the answer. That doesn't have any boost, probably not gonna get it, right? So, I turn on every social media that I have and it's like, bro, you gotta try the 500. Oh, bro, 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 you gotta try it. Dude, you gotta try it. I know boost is life, bro, but you gotta try it, bro. You gotta try it. Because I'm plugged up and I could just get the shoe. So, I got the 500. So, I got them because they were available. I got them because this is a YouTube channel that sometimes we talk about shoes and people tend to at least listen to respect or disrespect my opinion so here i am to give it to you whichever whatever you do with the information is completely up to you this is the easy 500 ba 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 you know you're just not gonna catch me lying i'm not gonna lie to you and i'm a human being like i i, I change my mind sometimes about things so uh yeah, just get over it, I guess. This is the box. Uh, one thing about the box, Yeezy 500, you can kind of see the sticker underneath that says Yeezy Desert Rat. So they changed the name of the shoe, probably because the name of the shoe is weird to a lot of people. Desert Rat, it's a strange name. And they've changed it to the blush, which is just the colorway. It just says blush, 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 blush. I wonder what it says underneath for colors, though. Does it say Desert Rat, Desert Rat, Desert Rat? Desert Rat, Desert Rat, Desert Rat. <laughs> Sounds like a Young Thug lyric. It says Cole, 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 Cole. Is All right, so this is the box, blah, blah, blah. So the shoe's still on my feet, and so I gave these, I gave, by the way, when I put them on in the vlog, I was joking when I said I'm, my feet are already hurting. It was it was a joke. Tell a lot of jokes here. I'm a funny motherfucker. Lighten up. When you come here, just lighten up, man. Lighten up. Unless I'm going off about complex, then we're not like. But usually I'm just joking. Um, yeah. So the shoe's still on my feet. This is the right shoe. 
Here is the left shoe that I've not destroyed, but definitely altered. I have a pink dot. The pink moved off of the mesh onto the leather. And if you know leather, it dies pretty easily. So I think I'm pretty much stuck with that. That was not a purpose. That was a complete accident. I don't normally ruin things of value just for fun. Let's get into it. The Blush 500. I used to be a rat in the desert. This is the shoe you've all been waiting for. No, um, all right, so basically the upper is layered. So on the inside of the upper, it is very plush and very nice on the inside. You have very nice soft materials and you have a very wide open ankle collar. This is a very bagged out fit around the ankle, but it's not loose. If you get down to the layers of the shoe, it starts at the base layer with this sort of sports mesh, this open sports mesh on the base layer, tumbled suede overlays on top of the mesh, leather overlays on top of that, and then more suede overlays on top of that. It's just a very layered shoe. It has a lot of layers, like an ogre, I guess. And some people would call it an ogre because some people say it's really ugly. I don't love the look of the shoe. There's things about it that I do really like, but as far as the shoe that I'm gonna choose, it's not my favorite. I don't mind the bulbous sole because I love BYW. And this is essentially from the same archives as BYW era. This isn't a new technology, so you have Audi Preen and you have Audi Preen Plus, which I don't know if, I don't know, I don't, can you fucking see it? Yeah, Audi Preen Plus. So I don't know if people know, and some, I'm sure some do and some don't, but Audi Preen and Audi Preen Plus are different materials. Both are just like EVA type foams. The EVA foam of Audi Preen is supposed to be a shock absorber. It's not bouncy, it's not meant to be bouncy, it's meant to absorb. Uh, and that's where you get mostly in your heel. And then you go into Audi Preen Plus towards the midfoot toe area. A lot of times it's just in the toe, but sometimes they'll spread it out across the whole front of the, of the shoe. Audi Preen Plus is more bouncy, like boost, it's not boost, but bouncy. And so that does your striking. So it's a four momentum idea. They put it in their performance model. So the idea is shock, bounce, go forward with your motherfucking life. Boom, bam, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? One step. That's the idea behind Audi Preen. One big thing that you hear about this against Boost is that the uh, EVA foam, the Audi Preen, will soften as you wear it. It'll break in, so to speak. Yes, EVA foam does soften, but that's usually not, a, I think that's probably why we have Boost. EVA softens, becomes less responsive, kind of wears down over time. It'll probably break in differently, but that's also a sign of the sh being broke down. There's a lot. He put a lot of foam in here. Like they were like, yo, you can't use Boost. He's like, all right, well, I'm using as much damn Audi Preen as I can. Anywhere you see the cross hatching itself, I'm pretty sure is the Audi Preen Plus. And in the back where you see the diagonal lines is just regular Audi Preen. It's just a difference in the Preens. Supreme, Supreme Hype Beast. I'm gonna get a shirt that says Supreme on it. Get all the money. And like I said, Audi Preen, EVA foam, this is not a new tech in shoes. Nike Zoom, we'll try to say it's innovative, but it, it is not. It's been around for a long time. And then the difference between Audi Preen and Audi Preen Plus, other than how they respond, is how they're formulated. One is, you know, one is tighter, solid, the other a more open and springy. The mesh in the tongue is a little tighter than the rest of the mesh on the shoe. Laces that are blush, I guess this is blush colored. It's more tan and cream to me, but they're calling it blush, so I guess we'll call it blush. Uh, superhero mask tongue right here that you can cut off if you have a small face and use as a soup. No, I'm just kidding. It's just kind of got that sport look. And this is probably only dad part of the shoe to me. So a lot of people call this a dad shoe. And I think people have just gotten into the habit calling shoes that they think are ugly or big dad shoes. This is, I, I don't see, I, I don't know many dads that I could hand this to. Uh, I mean, well, some of you guys are dads, but you know what I'm saying. Like, when you say dad shoe, there's usually like a negative connotation. It's usually the guy you see at the ballpark or at like like the amusement park with his socks pulled up and his shoes are tied. It's like tight like a football. And there's like mad colors all over and it's some crazy New Balance or Asics or something. I think you just have a different idea of what a dad shoe is. Uh, the Monarch, sure, whatever. Some people are trying to make that shit cool. It's never gonna cool. You know, it's, it's never, it's never gonna happen. Fetch is never gonna happen. The ortholite insole, easy ortholite. And then this is color coded. I don't know how the shoe is constructed exactly. I haven't cut it apart. Maybe we will. But if you slide the insole in, these land pretty much where 
those features are. So this one block, the red block here, blocks out this entire piece, which is normally just like a little chastity. A high density plate, much more high density than the yellow, and the yellow being lower density and squishier. The high density plate adds stiffness to the arches, and then these soft density plates help, um, you know, just with the ortholite sole, help company the Adiprene, just making it for a more comfortable ride. Just like the BYW, which again, same kind of archive tech, you're sitting down in it. If nothing else, if you find it ugly, I don't think you'll find it uncomfortable because the upper on this shoe does wonders. I think Kanye is really dialing in how he wants his shoes to fit. I think that the toe area is where he mostly concentrates on the grab, and this is really no different, but this feels more comfortable in the, in the toe fit than prior Yeezy models. Like the Yeezy V2, V1, and even down to the 700, the toes can seem a little shallow. This feels like it's got a little bit more space. It feels like it's a little more cozy. But that's also because the shoe itself seems like you step down into it. There's a little bit of wideness there, but you're not sitting down in boost. Where this is like you're on the boost, it's extremely responsive, and you're bouncing all around. BYW. Is there a BYW in arm's reach here? BYW is sort of the same thing. You sit down in and around the shoe. It more more like a huge chastity for your foot. Chastity. More like a huge chastity for your foot. Um, is that chastity? This is where the $200 price point most likely comes from. You know, it doesn't have boost. One, it's a Yeezy, but also there's suede and leather all over this thing. One of my favorite aesthetic. 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 One of my favorite qualities of the shoe. 80s. Trapper Keeper cross hatch vibes. Uh, that's probably my favorite part of the whole thing. But yeah, it's not a bad shoe. Like, it's really not. I was completely surprised. I'll go ahead and apologize because I told some people on the internet that they were drunk off hype. I'm like, y'all are straight drunk off hype. And some people are. Like, it's not going to change your whole life. Like, you're, it's not, you know, like I said, it's not boost. Not, any, I don't even think it should really even be compared to a boost shoe at all, really. They're just not the same. The profile is different. How high, low they sit. Is, everything is different about it. But for what this is, the shoe is comfortable. If you're into the look, probably wouldn't want to copy. This colorway itself is pretty simple blush. It's a very clean colorway. It's easy to get dirty, as I proved to you. 3M piping is another really cool part. So there's a 3M piping that goes all the way around the shoe. It's actually dumb fire. That's one of my favorite parts, too, because I love 3M. But this colorway I don't think is the craziest. The black colorway I've seen is a little nicer. I don't know if I'd actually get them. You know, I don't know if I'll buy more of these or even really keep these. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But this, to me, feels, you know, Ultra Boost NMD feels more like a sports car or motorcycle shit like that. This feels like an SUV. This literally feels like a safe, bulky SUV, but it's also been thinned out. Um, if you like bulky ass shoes, if you're, I mean, honestly, honestly, if you like, I'm not throwing shade, if you like Jordans and shit like that, if you like Jordans and like bigger, bulkier shoes where you kind of sit down in them, you definitely, you probably like this. And as far as comfort goes, so like I said, a lot of people are trying to say it's just as comfortable as Boost. It is absolutely not. <laughs> as comfortable as Boost, but it's also not uncomfortable. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that it's uncomfortable. I wore these for two days. I'm not gonna say my feet necessarily hurt. Like, I'm not like, oh, my feet, like, ah, uh, put Boost on me, somebody. But I could definitely feel a difference in the heel area, like when you strike down your heel, you can definitely feel the difference. There's really no squish. You know, if you if Boost seems too squishy for you, you probably love this shoe also. It's not as hard as a regular midsole, you know, like, whatever, just pick a shoe. Nowhere near as responsive as Boost. Most of the responsiveness is gonna come from here. So it's still Boost all the way. Like, I don't want anyone to get that twisted. Hear me, still Boost all the way. This doesn't mean I'm gonna start buying a bunch of non-Boost shoes, okay? Okay. But it's way more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. I will not lie to you. I did not think that I'd wanna have these on for any time at all. The more I wore them, the more comfortable they were. But at the same time, this is not a new technology. Flipped in a new way. There's premium materials all over. I mean, I'm not, again, not a huge leather junkie, but uh, for fit, I would say true to size, mine are 13, they're super comfortable. I'm probably gonna, end if I wear these more, unlace the shit out of them like I do my regular Yeezy. There's also this big insole. I wouldn't recommend taking out the insole because it seems like a lot of the tech forethought, it, it's got a marriage. So I wouldn't take it out personally, so I would just go with my true to size. Really, I, I wouldn't, personally sized down, but you know, everybody's different, I guess. That's just me. My major way to wrap this up is I did with a tweet the other day, is that stepping into the shoe felt like checking into a luxury hotel, but the lack of prominent and boost is when there's construction outside at 6 a.m. Overall, good shoe. It's not bad. A lot of people hate it. I, I don't think it looks like a dad's shoe. It is a hype V shoe right now. 
Resale's not crazy, and I think you probably won't have to worry about too many fakes. But again, I don't really know, man. It's a crazy world out there. So they still sold out, so it's not like they're just sitting on shelves. And this will be the first official brown box Yeezy with no boost, which is different. Even though the ones from Yeezy Supply say boost on it. I wonder if at one point they were gonna put boost in this shoe. Settle for Adi Preen because the BYW low is coming. And then I wonder if it, if they're gonna give Yeezy a BYW, which would be even more interesting. Is it definitely has a place in the Kanye story. I don't think that we're gonna see less of these. I think you'll see them everywhere. I don't think everyone's meant to like them. I don't love them, they're okay, but I, I don't think it's a shoe I will wear like often. That's my review of the 500. There it is. That's the shoe, here they are. That's the day. See you guys tomorrow. Drop at 8 p.m. Peace!